Would you please introduce yourself? Uh, yeah, my name is Brett Mazur, uh, also known as Epic from the band Crazy Town. Yeah, that's cool. What's happening with you guys? Because uh, a few years ago you had huge success with Butterfly, so maybe you can tell what's happening. Um, yeah, with the success of uh, that we had on the last album with Butterfly, the whole story was not told. That was our third single. We were very lucky and fortunate for it to catch on, and that allowed us to to have um, a huge opportunity with the debut of our next album, uh, Dark Horse, which is about to come out, our new single, Drowning, in that there's a lot of people out there that know who we are and are waiting to hear what we're going to come with. Uh, you know, we're just going to try to build on that, and the story remain. you know, there's still a lot of the story about Crazy Town that needs to be told that people don't know yet could you uh, tell me a little bit about that story or is it just um well the story is that um when you have a song like butterfly that ends up becoming the breakout hit of an album that uh rock radio embraced us and we came from rock radio and butterfly comes out which is kind of like a standout track on our album because of our hip hop roots and because we can do that you know i was a producer before crazy town and i was producing you know ha- you know hardcore hip hop groups and mc light mc light mc search mob deep it was time for you know me and shifty to say our own things you know uh i picked shifty to be my uh my co-front man and uh, uh i thought that uh together we could conquer the world and then we opened it up to the band And now, you know, the evolution that we've gone through uh, has been public. And our sophomore album feels more like our debut album. Why it's called Dark Horse? Because uh, the album's called Dark Horse because the expectation level is very low. For instance, uh, we went to radio in America last week. The song got really... Uh, they have what they call the impact day at radio, which is on Tuesdays. That's when all the radio stations add the songs that the new songs that they're going to play and we were number one most added at active rock which is heavy rock stations and coming off of the success of butterfly and being number one at active rock is means that this really heavy you know audience uh is supporting us you know we're not we're not this rap rock thing that people think that we are and uh when they hear the new album they'll hear the evolution and the dark horse applies to the fact that that the expectation level uh from a lot of people is that we are like the butterfly boys that were mm-hmm. you know because butterfly got you know so much pop mm-hmm. media and radio attention that we're this pop band and that couldn't be the f- oh, okay. furthest thing from the truth you know Because one thing I really like about uh, Crazy Town is the crunchier uh, uh, guitar sound. Right. And how do you guys um, bring along that sound? How do we get that sound? Yeah. Well, I mean, you know, that's a secret. You know, <laughs> no, I mean, uh, what you know, what it is is that um, we have a lot of different uh, influences. Nobody's life contains one style of music people feel happy and they hear some, one kind of music you know people are sad they'll listen to another kind of music i don't know anybody that just listens to one kind of music and if they do i don't like to drive in a car with them or listen to music with them it becomes annoying so you know our music is very autobiographical and is a reflection of life for us and so there's all s- styles of music is it also something because you are from la and you it, it is kind of a melting pot so right. yeah i think that definitely um the music scene in la has a lot to do with the way we sound as if uh we were if we lived in new york we would probably be a little bit different yeah i mean i think la has a lot to do with it but You know, the the band members on this album played a huge part. You know, we picked the right guys that weren't just going to be players, that were going to contribute in writing and have ideas. And, and every member of this band, you know, plays 
an integral an integral part in what we do on stage and in the studio and what we want to do is be around for a long time the same way you know metallica or the stones or the chili peppers uh you know are still around because this is much more of a group effort i heard yeah. because the previous one was much more you and, uh, and shifty and, yeah and and only because We had these songs with the live drums and the guitars and stuff, but I was playing it in the studio, and I can't like do all that on stage. So we had to find, we had to find the right band members that were like us that that could do that, and we had to the make same drive. the same drive, the same influences, the same desires, musicianship and writing ability influences. We had to change a couple of members, and now. You know, we feel unstoppable. <laughs> 